Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you already don't know who I am, my name is Kevin Pack and I'm a six-figure Amazon seller. I'm also a college dropout because I hated working for somebody else and a degree was only just gonna put me back into that position. I tried the whole working for somebody else and having a normal job thing and I wasn't having it and it wasn't cutting it. I realized that I only have one life to live on this earth and if I'm gonna only have that one chance, I'm gonna live it on my terms and work hard at it to make sure that it stays my terms. So here I am now, 24 years old, and I'm currently a business owner. And people who already know me know that I sell on Amazon, but people are confused on what that actually means. Am I flipping items? Am I reselling? Am I wholesaling? What am I actually doing? What does my business mean? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain to you guys how my business works and what I do for a living. Now, before we continue, make sure you guys smash that like button for the YouTube gods because it helps me so much and I'm trying to grow this little tiny YouTube channel up because I think it's gonna help a lot of people. So go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe if you want more content. And before we get started, I'm gonna show you guys my sales so you guys know I'm a current Amazon seller right now. All right, today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. And here's my account. Gonna refresh. Boom, right there. 23 sales today, almost $600 already made, and it's only 10 a.m. And I've done over $41,000 in the past 30 days. And my profit margins are roughly around like 35%. Uh, so needless to say, business is doing well. And in the last 12 months, I've done uh, a little over $288,000 on my Amazon business. See right there, refresh again. $288,000. So to clear up any confusion, this is exactly how my business works and what it is. I have a private labeling business. Now that's just a fancy way of saying that I sell my own brand of products basically. For a more simple example, let's say that I have these coffee cups that I'm selling, but they have my brand name over it. So it's not just a blank coffee, it's a coffee mug with my brand name on it. It's very similar to people selling their own clothing brand. So they have shirts, all these shirts, and it's a shirt that every other company has or the same shirt that any other company uses, but the only difference is the company has their own brand name on it and then you have your own brand name on it. So that's what private labeling is. It's putting a brand over a normal product, basically. So you can see a lot of people on Instagram who do this, who have their own clothing brand. And what they're doing is basically private labeling shirts. That's all it is. The only difference is I sell my private label products on Amazon. This could be anything from beauty to home to kitchen to outdoors to fitness to toys, etc. You get the point. You get the point. There's a variety of products I can sell, but I sell these products on Amazon. Now, how do I find these products to sell? Do I just put any product on Amazon? Well, no, I don't put any product out there. It has to actually make sense. And how it makes sense is finding products that have high demand, that make a lot of money, but with low competition, meaning that I can enter the market and bring up a product and I can make sales and take a piece of the pie however much that entire market is making. There's no point in trying to sell a product that nobody's looking for or trying to sell a product where it's totally dominated by a brand. Like for example, Nike, you're not gonna try to sell you know, athletic leisure wear because Nike is already dominating that market on Amazon. So how this works is I use a tool called Helium 10 that is an Amazon software tool that allows me to go on the Amazon product pages and analyze the data and allows me to see exactly what sellers are making and how much they make per month and also the review count of products. We use the review count of products to tell of how competitive it is. If the page on the market has a bunch of thousand reviews on it, then it's too competitive. But if we see people with like under 100 reviews, then we're gonna look on the opportunity and see if we could fit into that. Once I find a potential product, I go to alibaba.com, which is a website where you can be in contact with suppliers overseas in China or wherever it is, but mostly people sell or buy from China. We find suppliers that can produce our product at a low cost and we make an order from them. Once we make an order, we create a product listing on Amazon so that customers can actually see what our product is and buy from it. Then I tell my supplier in China to send all that inventory that I just bought into the United States to an Amazon warehouse. And this Amazon warehouse is where Amazon is gonna fulfill all of my orders for me. I don't have to ever see the product or do any shipping or packing or anything like that or manage any returns. 
That's why I sent it to the Amazon warehouse because Amazon does all that for me. So they do all the hard labor for me and I just have to manage my sales on my computer and launch my product and manage my advertising to make sure that people are seeing my product and they're gonna be buying it. Now, since Amazon is gonna be doing all the heavy work for me, they take about a 30% cut of all my sales revenue that I make and then I keep the rest. So it's not too bad. This is great because now it allows me to free up so much more time and focus on just growing the business and I don't have to worry about spending most of my day filling and fulfilling orders and printing and packing and taking it to the UPS store and just all that madness. Don't have to do any of that. From there, I just rinse and repeat and do the same thing for each product that I find that I want to source and potentially that can make me a good amount of money. And the great thing is I really like this business because anyone can do it and anyone can start it. You don't need a degree. You don't need any certifications. Hell, you don't even need to live in the United States. You just need to know how to work a computer and have internet access as well. So that's the basics of how my business works and it's pretty passive. I only spent a couple hours on it and that's why I love this business so much. If you guys wanna learn how to do your own Amazon business, I do have a course that teaches you step-by-step and along that you get my mentorship as well. So it's a less risky process than having to try it on your own and then losing a bunch of money because you didn't know what to do. Might as well go in there, learn the ins and outs of the business and have somebody with experience guiding you on the way. So it's up to you whether you wanna join it or not. I just made it available because I wanna be able to show people what opportunities they have and also help them start their journey as well. At 24 years old, I'm now financially stable in California and I can free up my time to do whatever I wanna do and that's just the power of the Amazon FBA business model. Okay, so I hope this video was really helpful and cleared things up for you. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as always. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Take care, be safe out there. And as always, go make that money. Peace.